In 1991, this movie was an event. My friends and I lined up around the block as early as we possibly could. No one wanted to miss this. She didn't have any more sex. She just built an altar um, to me in your home and worship it daily. In 1990, Madonna embarked on her landmark Blonde Ambition tour. Filmmaker Alec Kashishian was given unprecedented access to the singer and her entourage as they traveled the world. Initially, we thought all the filming was just going to be, we used to say, this is going to be Madonna's home footage. And I mean, we'd be in our dressing room and they, the camera crew would just come walking in. Like, we'd be naked. There were a lot of people in the film that ended up, just a lot of, there was a lot revealed about their lives. At the time, the producers made a big deal out of the fact that this was no holds barred, that you were going to see it all, and that the director had final cut, not Madonna. But if you watch the documentary, you realize Madonna's always in control, so somehow this was the film she wanted to make. Get out! I'm having a business talk. Goodbye. Ouch! As well as documenting the drama on and off the stage, the film also captures the growing tension between Madonna and her then-boyfriend, actor Warren Beatty. I think having Warren Beatty around, he was, you know, he was older and he'd already been through, he'd already been a superstar, he'd been there. Nobody talks about this on film? Talks about what? The insanity of doing this all on a documentary. It, it, what? A docu well, this is a serious matter, your throat, yes? Why should I stop here? Truth or Dare is the film for cultural anthropologists to go back and pinpoint exactly when we went from old Hollywood celebrity culture to current Hollywood celebrity culture. And that moment is when Warren Beatty and Madonna are on camera together and he says to her, There's nothing to say off camera. Why would you say something if it's off camera? And tomorrow, you're going what, to be so What point is there of existing? However, the film also chronicles the growing controversy over Madonna's surprisingly enthusiastic onstage performances. All you have to do is go out there and tell them I am not changing my show. I am an artist and this is how I choose to express myself. But it's for the way Madonna expresses herself off stage that this film, and one really lucky Evian bottle, will best be remembered. Madonna, truth or dare? Dare. What? Dare. <laughs> um, show us with that bottle how you give head. And that's about as much as we can show you. If you want to see what happens next, you should probably just go watch the movie. It's essential to see this documentary before you die because it really ushered in a new era. It ushered in an era when celebrities were going to have to give themselves up, show a lot more in order to stay relevant. Madonna forged that relationship with the audience and everyone has had to do it since.